Hi everyone. Um, I'm charging my car again today. Um, so I'm um, I just downloaded the Wallbox Wallbox app. Um, so it's running right now. It's running around point two, point oh point seven point three. That's pretty good. Um, slowly going up, I guess. Um, it is going at thirty two amp. And here you have this total energy consumption. And charging time, yes, yes, that should be correct. But ignore this one because this one I'm trying to actually figure out how does it reflect the actual rate. So my rate actually is let me see. So this is kilowatt per hour, and it's in the bill. My my rate right now is point five four six. You know, depending on the blocks. So so let's 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 assume that you know for this power. Uh, I'm using 0.546 so if you look at 0.546 if you guys do the math right now it's 78.35 so then um, I think it's around 40-ish um, 40, 40 plus 45 ringgit 42 ringgit roughly so 42 ringgit that is around um, um, about what $10 okay so if it's $10 so this one, this app has you know, sort of like a daily daily charging that, that I've been using, and roughly every day, it is equivalent to about hundred kilometers of commuting. So what this is is basically about uh, forty plus ringgit for about four hundred kilometers of commuting. So which is about ten dollars for four hundred kilometer. Now, so if you were to look at your own car and um, how much would you need to be filling up your gas for a, for a 400 kilometer trip and compare that to charging the Kona right now of a total 78 kilowatt per hour which is translates to about you know 40 ish ringgit um, yeah so that is technically the saving that you will get of course well, we can't really say it's saving lah because uh, you have to install the wall box first, right? And that is a upfront investment. But yeah, in the long run, as I said, you know, you won't be able to complain because this is a pretty good charging rate. And I'm not complaining about the rate. I just, as I said early in my early videos, I just don't understand the math because technically that wall box can give me up to 22 kilowatt. Um, and even um, this corner has a 11 kilowatt uh, onboard AC charger so I don't understand why I'm not hitting 11 there must be a reason to it again if anyone knows more than happy to 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 to, to learn more but yeah so this app is pretty cool so you can monitor your charging your daily charging 32 amp you know the current power that is, is currently being put and whatnot so yep I'm gonna change this one and eventually I will have the actual rate but yeah that's all folks thanks